Good morning. Happy day. Oh, happy day. <laughs> happy day. Uh, that's a refrigerator, refrigerator, stove. If you were watching yesterday, you know I got those yesterday. And then this is for today. It looks like something, but there's not really much there. We have to be super quick. We got to get in there, get all this broken down, get all this in, and then get back here, drop this trailer, and um, hurry up and get over to the heart doctor today. It's a heart doctor day, so that's fun. They got to check my ticker, make sure everything is good. Well, actually, remember way back in February when uh, I was in the hospital? I was supposed to get my ticker checked after that, like checkups and all that, and I waited it until August. Hey, look, it's my face. This is everything that's going over to Jeff. Bunch of stuff. And there's a bunch of stuff that's staying on. We'll bring it back after that, too. I just want to kind of give you a look, the feel, the fabric, cotton. It's the fabric of our lives. Okay, everybody, welcome back. What a crazy day it's been, and I think it's just going to keep on getting crazier. Um, so what we got to do is I'm going to unload this, and I'm going to unload that. Um, still got to, I don't even know. Yeah, I'll probably unload this stuff. I'll throw it over in the corner, throw this down. Um, these are both going over here. My guy's on his way in a little bit. It's a pickup day. Pick up my appliances. Dun, 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 dun. And then I have to go, I think, give some blood work. I think I'm just going to get it done today. Um, so I had a plan that I was going to start working back out. Because people see me and they're like, oh, dude, you look fine. You look good. You look fine. All right. Hey, you stand, you see me? Yeah, all right, sure, sure. Good enough, right? But I'm not fine. I'm about 17 to 18 pounds overweight right now. And for my frame, I feel that, you know? Um, anyway, first time ever, I've had tons of EKGs in my life. Um, tons. I mean, I don't know. I've probably had... I'm 45 years old, and I've probably had already 10 of them, and they've all come back good, every one of them, except for today. Today it did not come back. Uh, it ain't bad. It ain't bad. He's like, the newer doctor that I have. He's like, this may be irregular, but I've had so many of them, and none of them have ever told me it's something with the right ventricle or something. But he said it's nothing to worry about. But the reason I'm even telling you guys this is because I was going to start training soon because I want to do another, I want to do a marathon. Um, but I wanted to start with a half marathon and a Spartan race in November. And he just pretty much x nade all of that. Uh, cool guy, good doctor. He, um, he listened to what I had to say because I have strong opinions about stuff. Um, within the medical field um, My father was on all kind of medication and stuff When he passed and I'm just not down with it. So I told him um, You know, just let me Let me get back in shape You know and let me start eating right because I haven't been in shape and I haven't been eating right and then we'll just see how it goes You know, and I'm not against taking the medication if if I'm doing all the things that, on my part that I'm supposed to be doing and it's still not getting better because sometimes it's hereditary. So, you know, that's cool. But I've been good up until this point in my life. Anyway, he was, he's actually, he was good with all that. He was good with all of that. He's like, let's get these certain tests done. So I got to get a couple more tests. And then I got a stress test coming up and I got a couple other things. And so what I'm trying to tell you is I'm going to be doing a bunch of tests here uh, between that and my regular doctor. Um, but just making sure that everything's cool. So he does not want me to start training until after the 18th of October. So, yeah. 
Uh oh, I got a stalker. I got a stalker. Look, 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 look. Go. Oh, say hello to the millions and millions of yeah. Sugar Bee Cookie Company fans. Hello. Tell them, buy your cookies. Buy my cookies. Demand it. No. Oh. I'll do it. Buy your damn cookies. All right, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Bada bing, bada boom, bada boom, bing, bang. Yeah. So those are all going out. Uh, you got four there. And you got two over here, you see. You got a little stove back behind there. So, boom. Good day. We've been averaging that about a week between six, seven appliances that they're picking up. So that's great. That's great. We'll take that. Oh, man, we got work to do over here. We got work to do, folks. Lots of stuff to break down. Lots of stuff to break down. I think this hand truck's finally had it. I think I'm... Look at her. She's all rusty crusty. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, we got to start breaking all... It won't take that long to smash through this stuff. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get blood work. If I am, that's going to be... No, we're going to go load up bikes. Let's do that. I'm going to bring the truck around back with the trailer. And let's go roll up some bikes. So I will see you in the backyard. Time to load up some bikes, huh? See which way is this thing facing. Damn it, damn it, damn it.
doing, dog? Huh? You being a criminal? Portable bike rack. For them to work on the bikes and stuff, so figured we donated to Russ so he could use it. Take it off. Ah, and the little bike. That's enough. It's like six minutes of me watching you watching me load bikes. So there it is. It's the last one. Well, we got that one. Oh crap! I got this one in the trailer too. Oh good. While we're back here, this is what we kept. Oh, we got that big bag of wires. I got to go through. Uh, there's some clean brass on that thing got to grab that bike off of there a couple fans yep that bike's going to my buddy this stuff all needs to be oh it's too much Lillian it's too much Lillian what do you think got any ideas what are you doing are you over there licking stuff don't do that all right well I'm sweaty so I gotta finish this up then we'll see you guys in a little bit Alright, well, welcome back. Um, all the bikes are gone. We went over and seen Rusty. He's got a couple guys who work there who do not want to be on camera. So, I don't put them on camera. There you go. Um, so, we got to go through these bins. We found these bins the other night. I'll take you through with it real quick. Um, I'm putting them all in what I call a supply bin. Spackling. I don't know. That's dry. That is about as dry as one can get. And we'll just throw stuff in there. I always like some plumbers, buddy. That too is dry. Goodbye. Uh, we got some Velcro strips. Take those. Look at that. Brand new. Like that. Uh, this is not going to make it. I'm just throwing stuff over there that will go in the trash. That has no movement to it, so it's probably... Yeah, it's probably seized up. These I don't have a lot of faith in now. But look, it's kind of mushy. So yeah, we'll take that. This. Oh. That's not good. That's going to go over there. Yeah, some silicone. Take that one. What do we got here? Don't know. So this is gonna go in the recycle pile. Just stay that bar. 
right there, right there. Gone. That feels nasty. Well, we'll take. And this right here, we will definitely take this all day, every day. Look, we got some tools too. And I, because I've been take, just keeping bins, we'll keep that as well. Roller, look at that. Boom, nice. With the liners, keep that. All this stuff is going to end up going second shelf. Uh, I don't know about that. I'm not keeping that. Keep that. Another one, big. And these little buckets. Oh, I love that. Love those little buckets. Keep those. More rollers. What do you got here? Paint Buddy. Oh, that must have been what that other thing was. That thing there. Hmm. You just dump paint in there and just whip around. I don't know. I ain't got no time for that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Press a little button. Off you go. I'm good. Brand new paintbrush. Like that. Another roller. Got some painter's tape. It's always be used. Knockdown knife. Like it. Like it. Okay. Could just use those. But we'll be doing the other bathroom soon. More rollers. Oh, concrete. Oh, that thing's busted. Over there. This is like a top to one of those or something. Over there. Some little always use all this stuff paint brushes we like my paint brushes oh look at this this is pretty cool a little paint roller with the guide so you ain't jacking up the walls good oh look at that some primer purple primer we'll keep some purple primer always use a little purple primer no that's gone paintbrush we'll keep the paintbrush Oh, look at that. Look at that little knife. Yeah, we'll take all that. We will take all of that. I don't think I'm keeping this bin. I'm not keeping that. Was it very... Oh, look at that. Right in the... This is a score. Stuff on that go there. Keep these. Keep that. Don't want that. Keep all the foam brushes. Keep the tape. No. That can go away. Keep those. Keep that. Keep this. And boom. Keeping all that. Oh, this is for the. What do you call it? When you pour it, does it go all down the side? I like this. I like that. Alright, so that's everything that we're keeping from that bin. Uh, do we keep this bin? That's a good question. I think so. I think this one's still got a little life in it. So we like that. Alright, we'll keep this bin. This next bin is not being kept. One, because it was aggravating me when it was in the car. And two. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know about that. Hammer we're going to keep. That, yeah, we just pulled that. I'm going to keep this. I, was, I don't really want it, but I think I'm going to yard sale that thing. We're going to find out if a hot glue gun works. We're going to find out if that thing works. Look at this little... Now I get a nice electrical tester. So we'll be keeping that. These are gonna go. This will keep. The hammers will keep. Wire strippers will keep. This belt, I don't know. I got a belt like that already. In there. This bad nasty. We'll just go in. Another hammer. Look at that thing, dude. Pretty wild hammer. 
That is dangerous. They don't go in at all. Yeah. This is junk. Junk. Let's see if this works. Into this. Yes. I like crescent wrenches. Uh, like this. Nice trowel. Another electrical tester. What do we got here? I don't know. Pull nails? I know that's not what it's used for, but it seems like a good something. Light does not work. Oh, look at that. It's a nice saw. I like that. I like that little hacksaw. Keep that. Throw it in my plumbing tools. And then I'm going to try this thing out and see if this thing works. Oh, look at that. And I didn't even see that drill bit. I like that. I'm not worried about much of this other stuff. Although I will take these razor blades. Thank you very much. <coughs> uh, for anybody who didn't see, I think on Friday I came in here and I really went to work on this whole area. So we are getting there. We are getting there, getting there. I think I'm going to take some of those supplies right there. Make that bucket a little nicer. And then all that's going to go up there. We're gonna take whatever painting supplies are off of there too. Put my whole painting bucket right up there. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. That's what's on the docket. So we're gonna plug this thing in and I'll give you an update on this, see if it works. And then we'll go from there. I'm excited. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. This is a public service announcement. Dude, it's Taco Tuesday. We're gonna go eat some tacos. We'll be right back. So we're out here at the local basketball court. Local VFW, look at it. They haven't seen you in so long. It's been months. It's probably been like three or four months since they've seen you. Say hello to your million of fans. Hi. Yeah, there you go. Looks yeah, fine. She looks sweaty. So, we are uh, shooting some hoops. I'll leave you over here. You can watch us shoot some hoops for a little bit. And, uh, yeah, trying to get a little exercise in. Oh, yeah, guys. I'm getting crazy, so. This is the next best thing. Play a little basketball. Oh, well, I'm going to the hoop. That's it. Camera's over here though, if you want to see our camera. It's like right in front of the basket. Camera's like, yeah, like right here, aiming at that palm tree. I used to play a game called Around the World. So you gotta not play points? Oh, it's just, if I make a shot, you gotta hit. If you make a shot, I gotta take your shot. So if I shoot from here, and I make it in, then you gotta shoot from there. And if you miss, then you can hit you. And the first one I saw four three. Okay. Right here. Now you can shoot anywhere. Just shot. If you make it, I gotta pull you. Right there, Paul, you got this. Put it right through that hole. Oh, so close. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, Alright, Hit one. 
Come here, Dave. Come here. You got me a little bit more. Come here, Dave. You got this. Right there. Right there. You got this. Stay positive. There it is. Oh, so close. Yeah, right there. See this way they dug this thing. That was a good one. Right there. Just try to do it. Put one hand behind. Keep his legs. Keep his legs. Get up off. Shoot, use your legs. Turn around and follow. Ah. Turn around. Ah. All right. Well, we got it in. We got it in the workout, didn't we? Yeah. Yes, we did. So we're done. We are heading back. This is um. This was one of the kids who went to war from our community. He lived right down the road. He didn't make it back. So they dedicated this court to them and uh, they do a really good job over here with you know keeping up with stuff and giving the community a place to hang out Woo! there's our bins that we usually dump stuff in so we're heading back to the house we'll see you guys in a little bit all right we're back here at the house and my next door neighbor brought over those so i think we're gonna do some pickups tomorrow so that will help that will help, that will help, that will help. All right, it is the end of the day. Uh, that ticket, I think we went over. Let me see if my truck's unlocked. It is, hooray. Oh, that side's a mess. I don't know if I ever show you guys this. Look at that, look at that mess. But I never, um, I never pollute, ever. I always uh, make sure I bring, or oh, I throw all my bottles right there. And then we throw them away when we get home. Woo! So hot. It is so hot in here. So I really... I gotta figure out something to hold this thing up. Damn it. Oh, there it is. I, uh... I really wanted to, um start training but that does not look like it's gonna be a thing for right now so I mean it's cool it's whatever just have to do it other ways like play basketball we went for a walk I'm gonna start riding my bike more I still got to get my cardio in but we're not gonna do long haul running or anything way too stressful um, and I was told if I start feeling pains in my neck stuff like that just to shut it down uh so poundage we did about 1700 pounds today so that ain't too bad scrapzilla and then they picked up all the washers and dryers and refrigerators that was another 900 pounds and we got 30 a piece for that so yeah it was a good good decent money day and then uh we went to the doctor what else did we do Oh, we brought the bikes to Rusty. Um, so it was 16 bikes, a wheelchair, and a bicycle stand. I think 16, 15 or 16 bikes, something like that. Anyway, so here's your thought of the day. A guy who um, I like a lot. I like a lot. Um, he's not with us any longer, but George Carlin. I listen to a lot of his stuff. This is one of his sayings. Keep in mind, the news media are not independent. They are a sort of bulletin board of public relations firm for the ruling class, the people who are running things. Those who decide what news you will or will not be, you will not hear, are paid by and tolerated purely at the whim of those who hold economic power. If the parent corporation does not want you to know something, it won't be on the news, period. Or at the very least, it will be slanted to suit them and then rarely followed up on and goodness isn't that the truth our news media is in great despair and, you know i say that great despair but the independent news media is is pretty strong you know especially with all these different platforms youtube uh TikTok, all that and please don't even get me into the TikTok stuff you know you, we complain about TikTok, but meanwhile we're on Chinese phones and everything else so <sighs> anyway so let's do a good quote and then we'll get out of here for the day okay and your quote of the day here's our little positive we like to get you thinking a little bit 
you just think and tweaked in a little bit and then we like to slam you right in the face with a nice punch of positivity um, and this one is a quote by God himself I had to make you uncomfortable otherwise you would not have moved that's a huge thing you know some of the best things that ever happened in my life were things that I prayed that would happen and they didn't happen um, being in spots where I was comfortable and then forced to get out of there like I said I was an install manager for a solar company I had a pretty cush job and then one day I just walked away from it I was done it was done it didn't didn't serve me anymore it wasn't doing anything it was just bringing me more and more stress and it wasn't good for me it wasn't good for the company it wasn't good for anybody but it was so scary moving just getting out of that general rhythm but it was so much better when I did um, and that sort of thing happens a lot uh, it's happened a lot in my life I started over uh, a couple times now in my life you know, when I moved to Florida, I didn't move to Florida with anything but a book bag. I had a book bag and I had a PlayStation in it and some clothes. And, uh, you know, 23 years later, here we are. So, but as part of that, and I even moved to, when I moved to Orlando, I didn't know anybody in Orlando. All I knew was Lauren. And I moved up here all by myself and got an apartment. And then within like eight or nine months of having the apartment, she ended up moving in. And then we ended up... Uh, renting a house together but that was another jump where I didn't know anybody I didn't even have a job I stayed at my job an hour away for a couple months and then I ended up getting old and yeah so it's always it's always good to try new things don't be afraid to try new things good things happen when you try new things so anyway that's a whole day Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for dealing with my nonsense. I am so sweaty. I'm just sitting here dripping. It's about 300% humidity out. But I love it. I wouldn't have it any other way. I was thinking the other day, I'm like, oh, I kind of can't wait till it cools, cools down. And then I was thinking about it being cold. And I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm good right here sweating, getting all this out of me. So anyway, um, that's it. That's a day. So to everybody who's back thank you so much to everybody who's watching thank you so much we really appreciate all you guys um so i hope you all have a great day look out for one another we appreciate you team lift have a great day we'll see you soon